Uh, it's week 24 this week and I'm working at the Toy and Game Expo in Sydney and yeah, having a blast, smiling from 9, to, nine in the morning till 7 at night. Two guys came together a while ago and come up with this idea to run a Toy and Game Expo and this is it. Like I think they had, it was in the thousands yesterday for the opening day of this very first event. I think they're pretty happy with how it turned out and I'm, I've just been having a ball running around being a kid and I don't think anyone really takes it too seriously here. Like everyone knows they're here to have fun and make sure the kids are having fun and the families are having fun. So yeah, I don't know work-wise what it does to me. I'd just like to say, I still say focused and motivated in the work I'm doing, but at the same time, I think you can't help but become a big kid yourself. So you just get in there and have fun and play. Get the parents. Deep in enemy territory. Could this be the end of one week job? We'll find out. What I'm trying to find is the balance throughout the project. So whether or not that's from the work and lifestyle that someone leads or they people refer to it as hobbies that I've worked with and they just get to do their hobby all the time, which I think is amazing. Like there's people here who invent games, like and that's their hobby, but they also get paid for it. So therefore I guess you could call it their job. Not that they refer to it that way. Yes. I am gonna continue on the hike. Oh a bedroll. That was costly. There we are. That is costly. So you lose up to four boots as well. How much of it is fun, how much of it is work. And if you have fun all the time, eventually something's going to give and you're not going to be able to separate really fun times from what is the, like just normal times. So, yeah.